Back again. Hi, David Essel here, author, uh, number one best-selling author and counselor. I want to talk today about the whole concept that everything happens for a reason. And if that's true, what might the reason for you be during this pandemic personally? I'm not going to get into an esoteric discussion of why this pandemic might be happening and what reason it's happening for the world, but I am going to bring it down to you and I. So what are we learning during this pandemic? What is going on? What's the purpose of it for you? I'm going to share with you a ton of stories of clients I'm working with right now. A great purpose. And those who are ill, who are suffering, who have died, I am so sorry. I have two friends that have passed away already to this virus. I have so many more that are ill with it, sick with it, several right now on ventilators, and it's absolutely brutal. I'm not going to try to get into some esoteric discussion of why it's happened to them and not us, me or you or other people. But I do want to look more deeply into what is the reason for this pandemic for you personally. Have you found it? Do you want to share it? Anthony, welcome. If you want to share it, go ahead and share. What have you found about yourself? Let me give you a few ideas of clients I'm working with where they're realizing in the middle of pandemic, there's a reason. So number one, financial budgeting. So many individuals have been contacting us because we teach financial freedom courses about what the heck do I do now? How do I manage to survive? How do I, and the very first thing we teach is a wrangling in of expenses. So for these individuals, the, one of the major purposes of this pandemic is to get their expenses in alignment and they can carry that on for life and it'll benefit them for life. On the other side, we have people that have never exercised before. And the purpose of this pandemic is for them to start to see what it feels like to take care of their body. Maybe they're walking six times a day at 10 minutes each. Maybe they're walking once for 20 minutes. But there's a lot of people that have been forced via this downtime to the reason for this is, oh, my God, I've been neglecting my body all these years. Other individuals, couples especially, have come to us because they've realized during the pandemic that they have a lot of resentments against their current partner. But they were able to, through workaholism, through distraction, maybe drinking or drugging, they were able over the years to avoid having those conversations and to avoid the deep feelings. So for many couples, this has been mind blowing to see that they're not as happy with each other as they thought, they're not as patient as they thought, they're not as compassionate as they thought they would be. You know, so there's a lot of reasons for this. Some people, it's driven them deeper to God or their faith. Like this whole pandemic has been so scary and so threatening that they didn't know what else to do but to go to God or go to their religion or go to their ministers or rabbis or priests. And these are all positive end results of why there's a reason. Some of us workaholism. All of a sudden we're yanked out of our normal routine and we're having a hard time with sleeping and eating and taking care of ourselves because we're used to that distraction of eight, 10, 12, 14 hour days of work. And so now we're with ourselves. We're forced to be comfortable with ourselves. We're forced to look within and to say, God, I'm really irritable with my children, with my neighbors, with my partner, with my family. I, I'm drinking more than I've ever drank. I'm eating more than I've ever. And so those are signs that we're in withdrawal or we're heading into depression, anxiety. And that brings up the last point I wanna make. The purpose of this pandemic for some people is to realize they don't have a good grip on their depression or their anxiety is flaring these two up in ways they never could have imagined. And so this would be a time, if you resonate with anything I'm saying, this would be a time, you know, to go ahead and to get help. There's all kinds of individuals in this world that are willing to help you during the pandemic. I mean, we're doing it at pay what you can afford sessions. We also have books that can really help. And we also have online videos for $3. I've seen online videos and they begin at $2.95. So Use this time to proactively lift your life up, to proactively move forward in your life. For whatever reason we're in it, we're in it. So let's take advantage and see if we can't become better people, healthier, more compassionate, more understanding, more logical. That would be an amazing end result. If I can help you, go to davidessel.com or talkdavid.com. Wishing you the best today and every day.